More and more Alabama schools are putting new restrictions on cell phones in the classroom. Earlier this year, the Alabama State Board of Education recommended that local school boards consider banning cell phones during school hours. And some students in the Wiregrass will go back to school with more cell phone restrictions. WDHN's Robert Smith has been checking with some of the districts in our area, finding some already have restrictions in place and some plan to crack down even further this fall. Some wider grad school systems are not following suit with states that are outright banning cell phone use in public schools during classroom instruction, like Florida and Virginia. However, they are cracking down. You know, I certainly think cell phones have a use, but from what I've seen in school recently, um, they are just more of a distraction, definitely, than um, anything as far as serving for good. Students getting distracted in the classroom is what led to Virginia and Florida making the call to ban cell phones. Social media, you know, it can wait. Honestly, it's not that important to be doing. It's much more important what's going on in the classroom. They are such a distraction in school for children. Um, you know, so many kids are addicted to their phones now and their screen time is really high. The usage of phones in the classroom is also affecting the mental health of students. Research shows students are spending more than five hours per day on their phones, mainly on social media. We know that we've already lost too many kids or kids that are spiraling for a long time now. Wiregrass school administrators say they are trying to protect students and make sure they are learning in their classrooms. Geneva County Schools used to allow students to use their cell phones during breaks and lunch, but this year they will prohibit students using cell phones at all during the day to avoid problems like taking pictures and videoing people. Ask them to leave their phones off all the time and not use them at school and at break and lunch interact with their peers and talk and have conversations and um, you know, we feel that it's important for some kids to have phones at school so that when they have after school activities, their parents can contact them. DCS also prohibits cell phone use in the classrooms, but they can be in students' lockers. Dale County students can only use their cell phone in class if the teacher allows it as a part of instruction. Although Wiregrass schools are not banning cell phones, schools in Alabama can ban students from having one after the State Board of Education adopted the resolution this year. Montgomery Public Schools banned cell phone use during school hours and discipline rates went down by a third. However, it's not in the plans for Geneva County Schools. Honestly, if you ban them, they're going to find a way to have them anyway. So um, we're not banning them, but we are asking kids to be respectful and turn them off and keep them put away and not use them during the day at all. And they can use them before school and after school. Reporting Robert Smith, WDHN News for The Wiregrass.